Boosted staking from Fluid Tokens is a great way to increase your APR, the annual percentage return on your ADA with minimal risk and effort. And this video will go through the process of how it all works and how you can take advantage of it. Now, this is a really good graph comparing boosted stake versus regular staking. So the regular staking, when you delegate your ADA to a stake pool, earns you roughly about 3.2, 3.5% APR. It varies from epoch to epoch every five days. And you can see here, this blue line here is regular staking, whereas the boots of stake allows you to earn that little bit extra by giving up your ADA delegation and then someone else paying a fee for that. And this works on a borrowing and lending model where you're lending out the delegation of your ADA. So someone else can borrow that ADA delegation and stake it to their own state pool, stake it to an ISPO or an airdrop, whatever it might be, where they think they'll be getting potentially more gains in the ecosystem. But for users that aren't into looking for those ISPOs or airdrops or whatever it is out there going on at the moment, you can provide that liquidity in terms of delegation to these particular people that are after it. Now, it's really important to note that it's the ADA delegation that you're lending out and not the ADA itself. So you don't need to lend out the ADA. People can't leverage trade it or use it to buy NFTs. They can only point that delegation to a particular stake pool of their desire. So it's a really nice way of going about borrowing and lending where it's taking out that risk of someone losing all of their ADA that they've borrowed and then not paying their loan back. Additionally, the user is paying the fee for borrowing that ADA upfront. So there's no risk of that user uh, not paying for their loan, that uh, interest on their loan. So it's a really nice way of going about it. And booster staking is a fantastic option for users out there. If you want to learn more about booster staking, we have a full breakdown and tutorial on our Learn Cardano website. Link in the show notes down below for you so you can go through this and learn exactly how it all works. So let me take you through the booster staking platform so you have an understanding of how this all works. So you can navigate to the website, click on booster staking, and this is the main interface where it gives you all the information about what's happening in the booster staking economy at the moment. On the left-hand side here, you can see all of the ADA that is available to be borrowed at the moment. So this is what providers have given to the platform at different APRs. So at the bottom of the graph here, you can see how much ADA is being lent out, and on the left side, at what APRs that ADA is being lent out at. And you can see the most popular APR here is 8.5 and you can see it's roughly over 300,000 ADA being lent out at that point. So we'll be able to see over time that change and people borrowing ADA at the various price points there. On the right hand side here you can see the activity and see exactly what's been happening on the platform. You can see a lot of people creating new pools of amounts of ADA at different APRs but you can also see who is borrowing at what points. So this person here borrowed 9,000 ADA at 7% APR and the lender is earning 8.63 extra ADA per epoch. So nice to see those stats come through on the platform. You can see exactly how the market is going at the moment. Now there are some risks when interacting with business staking and that is because it is all powered by smart contracts. At this point in time, no Cardano smart validators or smart contracts have been compromised and there are no big hacks in the Cardano ecosystem. So that's a really big plus for the two years that Cardano smart contracts have been active at the time of this recording. It is also important to note because that ADA is leaving your wallet, it isn't the same as staking natively in the Cardano ecosystem where the ADA is completely liquid, stays in your wallet, and you can move it in and out at any point in time. So there is that lock-in period depending on how long you decide to lock that ADA up for. But you can always manage your booster staking and pull that ADA out at any point in time. Now, if you want to learn more about booster staking and how you can borrow or lend ADA delegation in this process, check out our videos around borrowing booster stake and check out a video about lending booster stake on the Fluid Tokens platform.